Hello, I'm Bernard Hickey from interest.co.nz. Welcome to 90 at 9, brought to you in association with the BNZ. This is your morning briefing, where you get everything you need to know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock, starting now with more news from South Canterbury Finance. It released its prospectus yesterday, and it's back in the market raising money. But the details in that prospectus are concerning. They include notes from the auditors warning about South Canterbury Finance's ability to continue as a, quote, going concern. Now, this phrase, going concern, is very important in the language of auditors. And when they raise a red flag about a company can, can being able to continue as a going concern, that is a concern for all investors. Also detailed within the prospectus and the notes to the accounts, the audited accounts, were the fact that South Canterbury had breached its trust deed, although it had received a waiver from its trustee. South Canterbury Finance needs to roll over at least half its debentures in the next few months. It is due to repay $461 million worth of debentures by the end of June, and it needs at least half of those to roll over for it to continue. It also needs to raise $80 million capital, according to the accounts. Meanwhile, overnight, there was a strong positive reaction to the Greek bailout announced over the weekend, the Euro rally, and we also saw bond yields in Greece drop sharply. The New Zealand dollar strengthened to 71.2 US cents. It tends to rise when appetites for risk are stronger in the rest of the world. We're seen as one of those riskier currencies. And when people are less worried about the state of the financial markets, and they are a little bit less worried right, right now because of the Greek bailout, then they tend to buy currencies like the New Zealand dollar. So that's up over 71.2 US cents. I'm Bernard Hickey. That was 99, brought to you in association with the BNZ.